Oh, oh, it reconnected. Oh. Hey guys, we're back. We're coming in and out. We're sorry. We're having difficulty. My Facebook Live's not working. David Dudley's won't stream. Uh, Chris Lane's never been on Facebook a day in his life, <laughs> and uh, we're we're trying to do this, but. We are two or more, and we are gathered, and we're just trying to put God first this morning. We're going to pray, and Ott's going to share. I'm done intro, and I'm going to turn it <laughs> over to Ott, just all around good old boy and a friend of all of ours, and Ott's going to share a uh, quick message with us this morning before we get started. Well, Ott Defoe. Will, will you hold the phone? I'm probably I will. Hold it out here because that's, that's probably going to keep it uh, keep all right. it's a better, better deal. So, yeah, uh, yeah, let's get started this morning. Let's pray, and then we'll uh, we'll get started. Lord, we want to just uh, pause this morning and just put you first. Lord, we uh, we just thank you for another creation. And, Lord, we thank you for giving us something that we enjoy so much. But, uh, but Lord, we thank you so much for sending your son for us. So, Lord, we just pray that you would bless this time and uh, just watch over our families and be with them. Amen. Amen. All right. What, uh, what I had kind of prepared, I, I had, um, you know, with, with Easter being last week, and that, that was, you know, before Sam... Sam Rayburn was a week before Easter, and uh, I made the comment on there at, at the end of how much I love this time of year. You know, I, I, I just I love what it means. Yeah. And uh, and and I wanted to share, kind of go through a little bit really about Easter because I, as, as a Christian, I'm gonna you know break a little bit of that down in case anybody that's watching out there doesn't doesn't really know everything you know that happened there and kind of where where our faith does lie um, in that. But but yeah, Easter is is definitely my my favorite time of year and a lot of people look at Chris you know I, I think as a society a lot of people look at Christmas and say man that's you, you hear a lot of people say that you know yeah. that's their favorite time of year for a lot of different reasons they love the presence and and Jesus's birth and I mean that is a, a great thing to celebrate um, but what you know with Christmas Jesus being born that didn't get us to heaven you know that it did I mean it was born from a virgin but that didn't get us to heaven. You know, his, his perfect birth didn't. And it, it says in Isaiah 7, 14, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. And that, but, you know, him him coming that way, that didn't that didn't get us to heaven. Also, if he would, if he would have lived a perfect life, and this goes for any of us, if he would have lived a perfect life, if we'd have been born from a virgin, if we'd have lived a perfect life, that you know, that wouldn't have gotten us to heaven. Right. It, it, it wouldn't have. But to be sin free, that was enough for him, you know. But it wasn't. It really wasn't enough for us. Hebrews four fifteen says, "For we do not have a high priest who could not sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who was Jesus, who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin." But it it did. It took Easter. It, it, it took him going to the cross to die that way for us. It, he had to be the perfect human. He was he was born of a virgin. He was sinless his whole time on earth. He he, he lived a life that we'll we'll never live but by by doing that. But then he died to death that we don't we don't have to die because of that. And that's that's what it says in, in one John two, one and two, my dear children I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Amen. He's the only righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. What, what, he's, he's the, we're not, you know, we're not supposed to sin, but we're going to. They, they are, Jesus already knows that. He, he knows it's inside now. And he is the, the only sacrifice that would ever you know, that could ever take that, that away from us. So, um, and it, it's not just, it's for me, it's for David, it's for Chris, it's for Mark, it's for everybody that's on there watching, every single one of us. He died for every one of us. That's right. Every one of us and every sin that we have ever committed and will ever commit. That's right. So that's, uh, you know, that that's what, that's what Jesus, you know, that's what he came to this earth to do, and that's that's what I want. You know, that's what I want want people to know in case they've they've never heard that. But that's, and then for us as believers, you know, so then it's like, what's our what's our job? What's our responsibility with that? Well, it's it's the first thing that after Jesus had died, and then a, a, then he appeared to a couple of the disciples a few days later, and he told them to go ahead of him to Galilee. Mm -hmm. 
and then he met with the 11 remaining disciples there. And as followers of Christ, that's what that's what we are at this time. We're, we're disciples. That's that's where our role comes in. And the the 11 that were remaining, minus Judas, that he met with there, that it was the Great Commission, is what you know is what that's called. And I think we all take that. You know, we all take that to heart, what was what was said in Matthew 28, 18 and 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That's And that, that end of the age, that's when he comes again. Yep. So yep. that's, I mean, he'll be with us. He'll be with us till the end. So. I can't wait. Yep. I can't wait. Yep. The last words as he went, he says, go and make disciples. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. I just love of Christ with people. And, uh, yeah, I yep. think if it's his last words he tells us before he goes to heaven, it's pretty <laughs> that's, important. It's probably pretty important. Yep. So, uh, yep. God pray. Yeah, I, uh, I, got, I got one last verse on here okay. I want to share real quick. And, yeah, definitely our way of doing that. And it's, uh, you know uh, that the the things, you know what what we do, how much we love this, how much we enjoy it. I mean, and, it, and, it, and it's our job. That's you know what we we do. We thoroughly enjoy this. But Second Corinthians four sixteen through eighteen, and this is where it's a, whether it's a great turn, whether it's a win, or whether it, you ain't making the cut. That ain't where our hope is. And, it, and I think this verse is a part of it. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Mm. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. That's right. We can't we can't see what, we're, what this stuff ain't but a, a drop in the a drop in the ocean. So that's right. Yeah. You want you want to close this, Rosie? Or sure. Okay. Uh, is there any prayer requests? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Chris Houston. Yeah. Uh, old Houston family. Jimmy yeah. Houston's wife, Chris, who has had what, a stroke. I think it's um, bleeding on bleeding on the brain. Yeah. yeah. Brain uh, Aaron Martin's. Yeah, they lift him up. I've got a friend. Chris Wells' wife. Chris Wells' wife. She's doing better. Um, a friend that down there is a good friend of Cliff Crochet's. His daughter. Has uh, has cancer um, in Louisiana. Kinley is her name. I'm having neck surgery. Today. David's having neck surgery yeah. thir this Thursday. Yeah, we'll lift that up. Thursday, yeah. Okay. Let's go, to the Lord, in prayer. Lord, we just thank you for giving us a few moments this morning with all the technical difficulties and all. It doesn't matter. We're just here just to put you first this morning. Let you know that we love you, and we know that every second second spent uh, honor you, Lord. You're you're worthy of it. Uh, just as I said, you went to the cross for us. You paid our debt, our sin debt, so that we can uh, gain heaven because of it, Lord. And what we should pay is was a whole lot worse, and uh, we don't have to. You did it for us, and we just want to honor you this morning, tell you thank you, that we love you, and uh, want to lift up these prayer requests we've mentioned, Kenley, uh, Jimmy Houston's wife, Chris, uh, Aaron Martins, Pam Wells, um, uh, whoever else that was meant, you know exactly who was mentioned here. This one, David's neck surgery coming up Thursday. Uh, Lord, just be with us. Uh, continue to be with uh, uh, the fishermen out there today uh, and, and tomorrow and the rest of the week and just continue to bless Major League Fishing. Um, all the things that come up, we ask, just ask that you just continue to watch over and bless this, this sport and this, this business. God, most of all, again, we just want to tell you we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And that's a wrap. <laughs> uh.